Hey Aries and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your weekly love reading for May 6th through the 12th, 2019. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I will be uh, pulling cards different this time. I'll be pulling your situation, your outcome, your shared energy, and then I will use two different decks to uh, see your path in the situation and see your cross watchers or your persons. So, let's see what we got here. Aries. All right, your first card out is the Seven of Wands. So, no longer putting up a fight. Turn in your back to the... Ooh. All right, your next card out is the Five of Cups. And the lovers. And you had to come out. So, oops. so you have the Ten of Swords as well. All right. The outcome. Whoa, way too many. The outcome here for our Aries. One more, please. Thank you. All right. And the two cards that came out are the King of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Or the, the King of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Here we go. This is bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Two of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles and Judgment. Bottom of the deck now is the Queen of Wands in reverse. So we could be dealing with a perfect pair here or two fire signs. All right, so we'll get your cards first, Aries. And these energies can go vice versa. I just say um, the Aries is the, I'm going to take you guys down here. I just say the Aries is the first one just to keep it straight for, for my purposes. But if the second set of cards resonates with you more, just apply this to your partner. And, and just apply it where it fits. You guys know the drill. You guys know the drill. All right, why is the Five of Cups here? So, now let me, why is the Five of Cups here for Aries? Thank you. And the Lovers. Thank you. And the Ten of Swords. Thank you. The King of Wands. All right. Here it is, this bottom of the deck energy here. With the two of wands, or two of swords, it is the empress in reverse. The four of pentacles is clarifying the knight of pentacles. And the queen of cups is with judgment. Your next card out is the two of cups. So uh, you are dealing with a soulmate energy because you do have the six of cups here as well. So this is a past life soulmate that you're dealing with, Aries. Um, and the bottom of the deck we know is our uh, long-term uh, predictions. So with the two of cups being there, you could be coming back into a relationship with, or you could be meeting a soulmate very soon, Aries. So no longer um, putting up a fight, Aries. You are you're knowing your value, you're knowing your worth, you're very confident in yourself, you're very, um, you're radiating very high, putting off a very high uh, vibration, so you're no longer having to fight for anything, you're just sitting here on your throne waiting for this person to realize what you have, or what you are, you could be turning your back from them completely, but you're just, you're not you're not fighting to have them in your life anymore, because you know that if they leave, if they walk out of your life, you'll have uh, other options because you've been fighting for this person for a very long time. Let me actually start with your shared energy. So your shared energy is there's a decision to be made. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus uh, or a Libra, um, but there is a choice that you have a blindfold on to. Um, there's nothing. There's 
no forward progress. There's no movement. There's no growth here. But you're refusing to see that, Aries. Uh, you could be waiting on a earth sign uh, to come towards you that had blocked you out at one point in time. They are coming towards you, Aries, but it's very slow. Um, they're doing a lot of introspection right now. They may not have a whole lot. They could have just left a situation to where they didn't. All they have is, you know, the money in their pocket and, you know, the clothes on their back type of thing. But um, most importantly, this is their soul searching right now. They are looking um, within themselves to see what it is they truly want. And they only have one coin left. So they're having to really think about where they want to invest that. This person is very um, within right now. But the outcome of that will be they will let you in. They're going to put that wall down. They're going to not be so stingy with their feelings, their words, their explanations. As soon as they get there, they will uh, They will not have that guard up. They will not have that block to their emotions. Um, and that is when the judgment here sets in with this unconditional love. So there will be another opportunity with somebody from your past, Aries. I don't feel you're with this person at the moment. Um but I do feel this will come back um, around to you or you will go back to somebody because there is a lot of unconditional love here in the shared energy. And like I said, this is a soulmate um, for some of you. This is somebody new. This is new to this lifetime. Um, you know, this is a this is another chance at it, but you haven't met them in this life. Um so it's for both. You, Some of you have people coming back from this lifetime. Some of you have not met this person yet. Um, but you're just really working on getting over the heartache of a, of a situation where um, you were left heartbroken. You, you didn't want to walk away, but you had to walk away. You... You couldn't deal with this person's energy any longer. Um, and it really did break your heart. So you're still trying to get over that, uh, whatever this ugly energy was of the fighting, the bickering, the blaming. Um, you're really trying to get over that. But, I mean, you come out as a queen of wands. So you're doing a good job. It's just going to take some time. But the two of you are going to... Uh, Really, with a, with a dark night sky, the two of you are really going to get some time alone to reflect and figure out what it is that you both want. But this is also, um, this is after everybody has left. Everybody has quieted down. Everything has calmed down. Um, there could have been quite an uproar when the two of you got together. But this is finally having your peace, finally being alone. <coughs> Excuse me to be able to work on the relationship, um, to be able to create this, uh, 10 of life's le 10 of pentacle legacy that, that you want to complete in this life. Um, the two of you could be coming together to talk about laying the brickwork, getting started, how we're going to put together, how we're going to build this life together. Because for the both of you, you could be coming out of a cycle. Uh, this person left you high and dry in the past, broke your heart, left you in the dark, intentionally kept things from you, and didn't let you in. And you're not that same person anymore. You've gone through this eclipse uh, to where, you know, you are looking back and reflecting at the old you, how much pain and suffering you went through, and how far you've grown. You're no longer feeling like you're out in the cold. You're no longer feeling abandoned. But not because this person has returned already, but because you are not this same person. You have transformed and you have come back very strong and very, um, <coughs> excuse me, I keep sneezing, um, very strong and very confident in yourself, but you're missing this person. You're wondering when this is going to come together and it is coming with that, uh, that judgment card, but one of you needs to decide to either leave the mother of your children or to leave the father of your children or to leave a mother drama behind. I'm not saying leave this person. I'm saying whatever this is that didn't get off the ground, whatever it is that's not created, whatever it is that is not a successful creation or you know what I mean. You have to, they have to take their blindfold off and realize that this isn't where their life is going to grow. Um, and they will come towards you. But it's going to take some patience. In your outcome, you have the King of Wands with the Six of Cups. So once again, this is 
king and queen, the perfect couple, um, quote unquote, uh, with the six of cups. Most definitely a past life soulmate. Um, this is no longer fighting the tide. Like you're just going to go with the flow. You're going to allow it to come in when it does. You're no longer trying to push for this connection. And uh, they are going to come back towards you when they gain this confidence. When they realize that all they have to do is step away from something and heal. There's a lot of healing that needs to go on here. Because there's a little bit of a rift I'm feeling here. They are going to open up communication with you, um, Aries. And they're going to make you this this um, offer of time. Can we get together? Can we talk? I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue. I just want to talk. I want to apologize. I want to tell you what actually happened. I want to tell you or, you know, offer you all I have is this one pinnacle. You know, they have it twice. Um, but I'm hoping you'll accept it. Can we bury the hatchet? Wipe the slate clean? Not bring up the past? Um, and just really openly communicate about where we're going to go from here. And that's really where they're at, Aries. They're, um, they're trying to find the, a way to communicate with you. <clears throat> Some of them have had you blocked. So they're worried if you won't even want to hear from them for some of you. They're not sure if you'll want to meet up with them. <coughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry. My allergies are just kicking my butt. All right. Who's Aries person they're dealing with? Oh. For our Aries cross watcher here. Remember just to uh, resonate with whichever side or go with whatever side resonates. And the other side will be your person that you're dealing with. Wait, you know, why is the king of wands here? My goodness. Thank you. And the eight of wands. Okay. All right. Bottom of your deck is the emperor. So coming in very high vibration. <clears throat> okay, Aries. So this is your cross watchers energy. So this is how, what they have going on towards you or in their life, or you know what I mean? Vice versa. Just whatever resonates. I'm getting I'm getting myself confused now. Okay, so with the shared energy, um, cross watchers, your Aries is they're they're having a hard time walking away from that. That's crazy because that was a card that you guys had um, Aries on your side of it, but it was in the reverse. So yeah. Yeah, one of you is not taking the blindfold off and seeing for it for what it is. There's a lot of toxic energy here. There's a lot of fighting, arguing, bickering. Um, and instead of taking the blindfold off and seeing for it for what it is, um, they're just deciding to sit there and take it, not walking away, not moving, not doing anything. Um, there's a lot of introspection here going on on both sides. Uh but one of you is not putting up with this cheating energy anymore. One of you is not wanting that in and out energy. They're really wanting to invest in somebody. They're really wanting to put their coin into, um, into something that is going to grow, that is going to thrive, that is not going to hurt them and, um, you know, stab them in the back. If you see the, the, uh, five and the seven here or the five and the two here, make up your seven. So they're not, that's why they're not making any movement because they don't want to feel this hurt. They don't want to feel that betrayal. Um, Aries, your cross watcher is going to be moving towards you very quickly. Um, they will get that wake up call. There is going to be an opportunity for the two of you to come back together and it's going to happen very quick and very passionately. Um, 
oh yeah, very quickly for you, Aries. So um, with the Seven of Wands here, the Cross Watcher, you have the Magician. So manifesting what it is that you desire. No longer fighting for what you have because you know that there is enough. You know that you know how to manifest this. You're going to sit back and do the work now. You realize that by not fighting everything and going with the flow, it's going to help you manifest um, this connection way quicker. Uh, you're, you're purging out though, cross watchers. You are releasing and, or your Aries is releasing and really uh, transforming, going through this spiritual transformation. But they are mourning the old them. They're, they are mourning their old relationships. There is a lot of sadness with releasing and purging. But it's got to be done, and it and it is being done with the death card and the upright. You are going to have a choice between lovers, one of the two of you. Um, somebody's trying to keep something from happening. The Wheel of Fortune is in reverse, so there's something that has to happen before this can move in the upright. You could be feeling like you're having the worst luck, things are not going your way, um, everything that could go wrong does go wrong, and you're just kind of feeling this down and out. But um, just really go within and and try to find what it is that the universe is trying to show you that you're not seeing in order for that to turn around. And, you know, no matter what, do not try to control the situation. When we try to control it, the universe shows us that much more that we're, you know, we have no control over the wheel. Um, there's this transformation here once again, letting old cycles go um, because that was holding you back in the past. You weren't able to move forward because you couldn't get over the pain of the past. You couldn't get over that betrayal um, that had happened. With the King of Wands here, I, I had a feeling that tower was going to come out. So once this tower falls, the person that you, either you or the person that is going towards Aries um, will will have that ability to move forward um, and gain that new confidence after this tower falls. But something has to come to an end before this can move forward. That's why your chariot is in delay as well, in reverse. Uh, there is communication that's going to open up between the two of you once again. Um, just be patient. Continue to plant your seeds of intention. Continue to work on yourself. We have to heal every day. It's a continuous process. So, even if this person is reaching out to you, make sure that you're planting your seeds of intention because your first and last card was manifesting your intentions and planting your seeds of intention. Voice what it is that you want. Tell the universe who you want to manifest into your life because this is going to happen very, very quickly because the universe is going to step in and help you manifest that. All right. One card for Aries for the week in love. Are for Aries. Thank you. Look at that. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life and it is being clarified by the bottom of the deck. Passion. Allow your heart to sing with joy. I don't even really have to explain that card. There, there's some things that have to happen before. I mean, these are some pretty big cards. Before the Wheel of Fortune can turn in the upright, for the chariot can turn in the upright. There's a delay. This has to happen. This transformation has to happen. But they are worth waiting for. So just hang in there. Um, this person makes your heart sing. And they will be. Uh, they are coming forward soon. Because these are both in the upright. So I'd say within the next. Well I guess it's different for all of you. For a large majority of you. The next 10 weeks. You're going to see a major shift in movement. Major you know. People moving, um, finding new locations, etc. So uh, just continue to work on yourself. Be patient. Plant those seeds of intention, especially right now in this uh, new moon, because this is the perfect time to um, set, set your goals, set your intentions, and let the universe know what you're trying to manifest so it can come in for you, Aries. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful week. I will see you next time. God bless.